Psych tuner. Run one. So I just thought I'd give a video of the software. People can see what we got going on so far. So up on the file, we're going to X. We're going to be able to do new, open, save as. We'll be able to export tunes for email, which is nice. We're going to go open a new file for now. First thing you have to do is select the ECU type. So it's going to be important to determine what ECU type you have in your vehicle. The different JTEX represent the different generations of calibrations that they did for the JTEC. So we're going to go to PL. We're going to open for giggles and grins the 97 Mopar performance calibration. And it takes a minute or so to load all this stuff. People don't realize there's thousands and thousands and thousands of items that you can change when you're dealing with a full calibration. So everything's open now as far as the calibration and we can go in and we can tune. So we want to go to configuration just for giggles and grins. Let's go to the configuration switches and take a peek at that. So the first set of switches allows you to change which engine is actually in the vehicle. So if you end up doing a 2-4 swap, click on the 2-4, unclick the 2-0, save it, and now your car will run on the 2-4. Change that back because we want to keep it default. Right now I'm in admin mode. So as a result, I can change all the default settings. So if I want a default 2.4, I can change that. So whenever you guys open it on the finished product, it will be a default to a 2.4. I won't do that because that's not what came with this calibration. Um, then you can get in if you want to, you know, if you're running an automatic and you want to run a Mopar performance calibration in an automatic, you can do things like get rid of the manual transmission and then there's some automatic tables that you can go and set up. So there's all kinds of cool things that you can do that, that we're building into this. Um, you want to get rid of your O2 sensor for your downstream. You can completely uh, get rid of the input signal. Uh, you have to go and get rid of the output signal as well. Um, do a few other things, but that's the, uh, the start of getting rid of the O2 sensor. You know, EGR solenoid, get rid of that. You don't want a tachometer, <laughs> get rid of that. You know, some of them didn't have tacks. Uh, that allows you to to change that. You know, then you can get into your software switches. Uh, this is stuff for your uh, OBD2, so when you get in for emissions purposes, yeah, you've got your options to change that stuff. I don't know, I think this is really cool, personally. Fan controls, you know, a lot of people want their cars to run cooler. Well, you can see when the fans turn on and when they turn back off. They turn on at 219 degrees. They turn off at when it gets down to 210. Well, you know, we want to obviously make changes to that. Get our cars to run a little cooler. Now, this is tons and tons and tons and tons of items. Like I said, there's thousands and thousands of things. Battery voltage offset table for fuel injectors. And charge temp, desail fuel shut off. Manual tuning valve, I am putting that all in there so people want to be able to change the manual tuning valve stuff. They'll be able to get right in there and do it. I believe it was the 3.5 liters that came with the manual tuning valves. Got your rev limiters. Mopar performance rev limiter. <clears throat> Anyway, it's pretty cool. Things seem to be working. You, know, you change things, they pull through. I'm able to go in there and save it. Your rear O2 sensor, open loop for those that are familiar with open loop. And you got your watt fuel surfaces and different things. Miscellaneous. Some part number IDs. Some learn timers. 
And you got your knock sensor. Short term, long term knocks. You know, you crank fuel, cruise control, ethanol for those that don't want to have some fun. Play around with that. Anyway, it's just kind of a quick, brief thing. Something that we're going to do. We're going to be able to read the ECU. We're going to be able to do an EE prom erase, which is nice. We're going to be able to do a quick flash and a full flash. So if you start with like a, a single cam calibration, for example, and it's just a stock uh, production cal, not a performance, and you want to upgrade to a Mopar performance like we have open here, you can go up to ECU and you'll be able to click full flash and you'll be able to rewrite the entire calibration file. Or if you want to just change the existing calibration file, you'll go to read ECU and you'll pull that file off. You'll make the changes you want and then you'll do a quick flash. Quick flash is going to change only what you modified in the actual tune, which is kind of cool. So you're going to have the best of both worlds in that regard. You know, I've got my admin functions, which will be turned off for the production. You know, you can open calibrations as well. Uh, if calibrations are saved, everything saves into an organized file for you. As you can see, we don't have any calibrations saved, but if we did, they would pop up here and it would have the computer ID and then the description that you actually put into it so you would know exactly what you've done. So anyways, we are going to exit. We're not going to exit. Anyways, that's just kind of a uh, kind of a quick little sneak peek at what's going on. Later.